What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. I hope you all are doing all right. Today is the day before Easter, so happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. It's been a great day yesterday. It's going to be a great day today. I have all enjoyed the church all weekend. It's a lot of fun. I very much enjoy it. So anyway, happy Easter to everyone out there who, uh, who celebrates. It's a, it's a great thing. So uh, yeah, I'd like to just uh, take this time and basically I want to show you the shop. I haven't made a video of the full shop pretty well in a long time. So I've kind of got everything where I want it. Everything is settled. You know, there's, there's just an endless amount of things in here to show you and that's what this video is primarily going to be about. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to move it all. So, I'm filming basically exactly the way it is, so you guys can see how I got it, but yeah, I gotta move everything that you're about to see. But in the long run, I wanted to give you guys an update. So, um, about a year and four months ago or so, uh, I took a different job doing something different, I moved, and uh, now I'm in this location, and now I'm taking a different position doing something different, and I'm gonna have to move into a different part of town here. And that sucks, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, some of you didn't know, yeah, I moved from one location to another a while back, and then now I'll do it again. Uh, so this video is primarily about that. Um, one thing I want to discuss before we uh, get into all this craziness is something that's always very important to me personally, which is this YouTube channel. So first of all, this YouTube channel is here because I like sharing things with you. I like documenting what I do for video reference later, and then I like sharing that knowledge with everybody that I learn along the way. That's like what this YouTube channel is fundamentally about, is sharing and showing people stuff and, and teaching. And, and then this YouTube channel also is very, very dedicated to basically documenting what I've done. I mean, if you really want to, you can sit down and watch like a year and a half constant feed video of me and everything I've done and all the videos I've made and all the things and moving and transitions and it's all documented for the most part on there which is really cool so I've also really tried to take this YouTube channel and grow it into something awesome you know I did a series on the uh, the RWG OSD CNC laser coil winder that apparatus and like that really got some foothold people really got interested in that but that's dedicated to one thing which is kind of related to 3D printing. Now, that's more of a building process, and I tried to make something great out of that and make the channel grow, and it just doesn't work that way. And then, you know, I'll post a video totally random on something that may, may or not be totally interesting, and that video just goes crazy, and it's like, it's like, and then you get videos where you make, and you think, you spend like a month working on the details and getting it right and having fun with it, and then you publish it, and it's like a forgotten video on your YouTube channel. So what I've learned is you can't please anyone. I should say you can't please everyone. And you can't, uh, you know, make content for everyone. 3D printing, alternative energy, family stuff. Like, there's always groups of individuals who watch, you know, different things. Um, the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, what I basically learned and a lot of people have said this on other channels over the over the years is you you do what you enjoy so I enjoy making content that's fun for me to make I enjoy filming stuff that I'm doing because it's fun for me to make and and ultimately allows me to teach some things that I'm learning and uh, and share that knowledge so basically what I'm telling you is I've tried to grow this YouTube channel over the, the time in different ways, going different paths, and it, it just, it just, it's still sitting pretty still. And I've had this YouTube channel since 2006, uh, late 2006 is when I made it, and it's just been on a steady, slow rise. And so for me, uh, a YouTube subscription count doesn't really make that much of a, of a difference to me. What matters is, is the, the numbers that matter to me is how much uh, you guys are engaging down in the comments and, and sharing and talking back and forth. And I do my best to get down there and, and reply. Don't always get that opportunity, but I, I try to do that. And then, you know, the second part is how many view counts you get on a video. So if I post a video and a week goes by and a thousand of you watch it, which is kind of the average, 
then that means there's realistically a thousand people who actually care about what I share. And then some videos go a little higher than that depending on the subject matter. So ultimately, I'm just posting things that I like to post for you guys and I have not really been able to do that lately. It's just been, it's just been too much, too much going on, not enough time, haven't been able to do exactly what I want and then express those things and I just, I just haven't been able to do that. So looking forward, obviously sometime after I get all my crap figured out and moved, um, I'll try to work on that. I'll try to produce content a little more often. No guarantees, but personally it's what I want to do because I enjoy it. So without further ado, this is almost like a Mr. Carlson's lab shot, isn't this? It's a pretty wide angle. I got the wide angle lens on here. The, uh, the shop here is a three car garage and then I have another little uh, room that I use as an office and 3D printing. And so I'm just gonna show you around. There's some stuff in here you've never seen before. Uh, there's some things in here that you've all seen time and time again, and uh, I'm not going to probably directly talk about any of it, but I'm going to just walk you around and show you kind of the stuff that's in here and how I organize things, and yeah. These boxes are very heavy. Uh, by the way, I built these shelves and the benches, including uh, the pull-out drawers, so I made pull-out drawers on this one. They're actually two foot by two foot. They're big drawers. Um, like this one has a has a notch cut out. You probably can't see it from there where, the, where there's a, a support for all this weight. And uh, what actually this stuff is, is it's a three quarter inch medium density fiberboard. And I got strips of it, right? The I'll show you later. The strips are here holding up this fake wall that holds up my, uh, uh, my marker board. And what it is, is there was a guy here in town who was working on a, a, a contract job and they needed the front sheet and the back, or the front side and the back side of a 10 foot long sheet. And they ripped that and then the inside was about 12 to 13 inches. It's rough cut, it's like this because they only care about the front edge. So all the pieces that I got were, uh, were wavy and not cut straight. But he sold them to me for $2 a sheet, 10 foot long by roughly 12 to 13 inches wide. And I bought, I don't know, I think 70 of them. And I built all the benches in here, and there's some live stream footage of that if you guys really care to watch it. And then I figured out, you know, the best way to do it, and you can see that those benches right there um, are primarily got the holes in them where the, where the uh, right there, where originally I was going to put the, uh, the drawers, like right there. But, um, make sure you guys, can you even see that drawer? I guess you can. Anyway. So I was gonna put drawers over there and then I realized it's a, that one actually works better for sliding things in, but I wish I had cut those corners off I left out for the drawer stops because uh, I whacked my legs on them. And I didn't want to cut them in here because they just looked like crap, so I left them. Um, yeah, and then I took the MDF and I made individual boxes. So you can see how there's a double slat there. This one's a little different. And those just kind of sit on top of there and each piece kind of sits on top. Now, I got 10 foot ceilings in here, which is like amazing. Um, actually, they might be just a little bit taller than 10. So it's really, really awesome, you know? And, um, and that makes me be able to stack things real high, but I can't get stuff down real easy, so. Anyway, let's take you for a walk around the shop. All right, I got the wide angle lens on. <clears throat> makes everything look, I don't know, bigger or smaller, I'm not sure, but. Um, but yeah, for perspective, that's a 10 foot long piece, right? Uh, this is an eight foot long piece, this bench. So this bench I actually assembled with stainless steel screws that I had from an old project because I wanted this bench to be basically non-magnetic. I didn't want to put anything over here that's magnetic. So, <clears throat> because I'm doing stuff with these big coils and I, I didn't want any of that. Um, I did eventually put stuff down here that was, um, steel but ultimately I wanted to make this bench uh, non-magnetic. Now what's interesting is this is actually just sitting on here. I never actually uh, fastened these tabletops which is bad but I've always had these coils sitting on here so they've never fallen off. Yeah okay let's start over here in the corner. So I've got stuff over here in the corner. Um, long items. I took some uh, I took some old rack um, See the old rack uh, rack thing? Those things only stick out about, 
I don't know, six inches. And I just cut some pipe, stuck it on here. It just sits there. I wouldn't want to hit your head on those. But uh, they just kind of hold everything in place. And that works out real well. Um, I got a camera in here shooting outside. I didn't want to mount it outside, so I just stuck it in here. Um, <clears throat> some brooms and crap hanging up here. I got some other stuff here, some wood and some lamination film. This is my, uh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. I think I did. This is my uh, my mill sharpener. So I bought this at one of my previous, previous, previous jobs. And um, <clears throat> cleaned it up, fixed it up, made it look like new. It's about a $3,000 unit. And then I uh, I fixed it up so I could sharpen end mills. But the the bit, well, you can see it right there, it's got a chip in it. I don't. I asked you guys one time if you wanted to see me use that because this actually has an air bearing on it, so that it's so it's free floating and you can do the sharpening. It's pretty cool stuff, but nobody cared to see it, so I didn't make a video about it. This used to have a black cover over it. Uh, capacitor bank sitting here. I still haven't unwrapped the top because this just sort of holds this thing in place. So I just left it on there. Then the power supply for that, transformer for that. And then some uh, Newman fluorescent light bulbs and some other just scrap wood and stuff I didn't want to just throw away. Um, yeah, and then this first bench, uh, got a, a PTZ camera up there that's Zoom. It's a USB cam I do for live streaming. And there's another camera right there. And there's another camera right there. And there's another camera right there. And then there's another camera right there. And then there are... There's another camera right there, and then there's one more right there, and that, and that allows me to basically film the entire shop and move cameras around and do overhead shots and stuff when I do the live streaming. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of live streaming lately. It's, it's just been one thing after another, and I've been working on things, and it's just been hard. So uh, I don't know where that will take me in the future, but hey, so this is basically the the, the big box hardware, so I built these shells specifically to hold these items in this specific manner. So I've, I've actually built these shells. You can see the, the, the space here is smaller than there. I did all that stuff on purpose. And what's really cool about these benches here is that I made this I-beam style center section. And you can see I missed some nails, which I don't really care too much about because they're in behind the back. But when I was building this, I needed a support to basically have this open right right here and um and it's pretty cool because i left a notch cut out of the front so i could put things on the front edge right and still get the perfect support i need so that worked out really well um the only problem is is like i have a backer on here right so i have a backer on this side right that's why this cubby hole is right here and then i have a backer on this side and that's why this cubby hole is right here you can see the backer behind there but in the middle I just took brackets, you can see one right there, right, so brackets, and I just mounted them, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and that keeps it from falling over. So it's not self-supported, this whole bench is actually, um, could collapse, fall over, and, you know, that's a catastrophe. Um, so, that's that one, this, this one's built exactly the same, except I left the drawers off this one, right, so you can see I... I built these really fancy drawers. This is all scrap wood. Um, this is actually an old cabinet drawer. It's got a piece of front or something, piece of wood. And then I had these. I took off of something back in California. Um, and these are just crap brackets that I used and glued these together. And you know, these are really, really nice. Um, those are humongous drawers. There's a lot of space there. They're two foot by two foot, right? Ten foot long, four drawers. I think that makes sense. I haven't done the math. Anyway. Um, they're pretty close to that. So, I've got all my, uh, my really heavy hardware down here. There's a box full of transformers and some other stuff and power supplies and all my motors and stuff. This goes way back. I mean, there's a pile of stuff back there. It's pretty amazing. So I'm packed in here and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, and then I got a computer sitting here that I mounted a screen on the front with some magnets. This is my dad, by the way. He made these for Christmas. It's a bobblehead. It's, it's it's hilarious. That's a clay model they did. It's pretty funny. Anyway, um, and then uh, I've got another computer here that I used to use for uh, setting up the um, projection when I do live streaming to see the chat. So this works real well. I can just do touch screen and 
Um, it works pretty nice. That's an old monitor for HMI interface for PLC control. Then I got my instruments up here, oscilloscope, power supply, signal gen, uh, a few other meters, my amplifier for my stereo. This thing is probably on. Oh yeah, I love this thing. This thing's awesome. Look at that, calibration test, still exactly at the right number. Anyway, that's a fun old instrument. That's a frequency counter. Actually, Dave from, uh, what's his face, had a dual one of these, and he took one of those apart. It's a beast of a, of a unit. Anyway, power supply, got a scope here for doing service mount stuff. Um, a lot of my hardware is sitting in that cubby hole. Um, soldering stuff up here on the top. Soldering station, heat gun. That's where I store my Variax. There's another one on the bench that goes there. Um, UPS for this. Keep this power um, computer going every time I trip the breaker in here because I'm pulling so much power in this garage. Um, here I got another Benz stuff, more Benz stuff, and blah, blah, blah. So all, all this stuff is, uh, yeah, pretty compact on here. Spools up there. I got an AC air conditioner in here and another one down here. And what I've done is I've vented, uh, vented the heat out of the only two vents in the garage. And then I took the garage doors and sealed them real nice. So that um, I don't have any, uh, I always got negative pressure in here and pulling air, pulling air out uh, instead of sucking the heat in. So that's that bench. Uh, this bench over here, I got my filing cabinet and uh, another cabinet full of plastic and glass uh, pieces that I use for projects, power supply. Um, I got some of my electronic hardware here, resistors, uh, just all kinds of crap. Uh, that, uh, that I got. Um, and then here I got a bunch of stuff uh, on the on the top of the shelf here. I use this bench for different projects I'm doing. I got all my heavy stuff down here, primarily my heavy stuff down here. And actually, you'd be surprised how heavy this stuff is. But these are just all separated bins. This is stuff I've had for quite a long time, and I've carried it around with me for state to state and job to job and this to that. And uh, and I use a lot of it all the time. Every time I need to do something quick, I tend to have something on hand. Now this one, this is Transformers. And there are a lot of Transformers. Again, this is uh, about three feet deep. And there's three shells of Transformers. There is a ton of weight sitting on those things. Just all kinds of different stuff. High voltage, low voltage, ballasts, just big beefy things. Neon sign, everything's there. Um, and then the inside bench here, I got some wood, some wire, some scraps, some parts, some pieces. And then on this side, I primarily have uh, batteries. There's a bunch of high voltage caps there. Batteries, storage, parts, and pieces, just kind of all kinds of things. Uh, this project here, um, I still haven't yet to fully experiment with, so I haven't uh, done any videos on it yet. Hopefully, I'll still get to do that. Um, it's something that still very much interests me. You can see there's two really big plates in there now. Some of you might be able to guess what this is. Um, I don't care if I tell you, but I can't pronounce the name, <laughs> so I can't actually say it. Got the cheesy fan here, which I absolutely uh, am going to be continue working on at some point, but right now is uh, it's not happening. So um, yeah, a lot of parts sitting over here for that project, and. So that's that. My wife just came out. Hi, wifey. So I got this couch from the neighbors, and I found the other one on the street that you guys probably saw in here in some of my videos. This is actually a new one from the neighbors, or a used one, but whatever. Some batteries, stuff here. So that's that's primarily, um, I got all my storage stuff and tape and all my other supplies, power cords, tubing, tape, uh, adhesives, uh, some uh, other stuff, pencils, pens, and you know, utensils and stuff. Uh, this is actually a coil winder. I don't think I ever showed anybody yet. It's to wind uh, uh, these type of cores that are solid. It's pretty cool stuff. So these are split core, and these are wound in a strip. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, okay. And then I got uh, oscilloscope. The old one up there. That that one right there. I'm still trying to repair. And uh, eventually I'll get to it. And then here I got some other tools and stuff I got on these shelves to put them somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's primarily uh, primarily that side of the of the space. And 
What else? Short and sweet, honey. Short and sweet. No, this is the long <laughs> video. It's crazy. I'm going to drag it out. Oh. You know why? People are not going to watch it. They don't have to watch it. I might want to watch it later. I record these videos for myself. So you know where to put stuff and you move? Yeah, and I know what I had, and I know what you know, it should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is actually a video for me. Hopefully the next garage is just as tall. Yeah, that would be great. Would. If not, I designed these specifically to be short. See how I have those down lower than that? Yeah. So I did that specifically to put these in an 8-foot ceiling. I know, but the back side is taller. Yeah, I, I'm, I left the extra... The 10 foot stick, but I designed it so I could cut that off okay. and take that down and put it in an 8 foot. Good job pointing that out. Yeah, so that's what I did. I'm smart. So this side of the shop, um, I have some projects here which I haven't talked about or shown people and uh, we'll get into that probably sometime, but yeah, there they, there they are. Worked a lot of hard work on that guy. Um, so I'm not going to explain now. I made a specific video for that that I'll try to publish here at some point. Um, and then here I got the whiteboard. Okay, so these are uh, just the extra pieces of wood. I just wedged them in there with some of my socks. Yes, no joke, my socks. And uh, yeah, and then I used my whiteboard there. I got another bench here to house all the um, equipment I use to run these benches. Some storage on the bottom of these guys. And uh, that's primarily this side of the shop. Now I'm going to go the other side. So this, this, the side I just showed you, I consider the electronic side, the me measuring side. And I have everything over here to do that. And then this side of the shop, I have the machine shop area. So I have all my metals and pieces and materials. Um, I did eventually get a lathe put in here, <clears throat> which is freaking awesome. It was a challenge. I put it in here by myself, by hand. And um, that worked out, but yeah, it's pretty heavy. And yeah, some more bins, some more stuff, some more projects. And what I wanted to do is I never could really get all my projects out and put them on a on a shelf. So I decided when I when I moved here, the first thing I was going to do is get everything out, put it on a shelf, and make sure I know everything that I own, everything that I have, it's sitting out, so I can pull it off the shelf and use it for something. Um, and that's what I've done. So I got all my chemicals down here, some pieces and junk, and, and here I got some more hardware, and this is something I found on the street. I even found this Craftsman toolbox, but um, it's been it's been smashed right there, um, and I kind of bent it out. It's fine. I don't care what it looks like. It's a Craftsman's toolbox. I'll, I'll use it. Got an old saw, hand saw, and there is a uh, air compressor back here. And I got the <clears throat> air compressor plumbed all the way over here, and it basically just comes out on this roll, so I can pull stuff out, so that works well. Um, projects sitting here, all kinds of stuff. So this side is primarily hardware. I built this, um, built these trays in here, and all my little scrap aluminum, and you know my stainless, and just kind of got it separated. You know, slab pieces, circular pieces, and that allows me to just pull these out and get what I need. And uh, then I got all the metal here, and this bench, this bench weighs a brick. It is, it is freaking heavy, but it's got some good casters on it, so it's still alive. Um, some long, tall scrap pieces back here, metal, plastic, you name it, it's sitting there. Uh, this toolbox here... Um, my wife actually got me last year at Harbor Freight. It's just a, a U.S. General. It works pretty well. Apparently the new ones have uh, a double slider on them so they can carry a little bit more weight because i got a lot of weight in some of these drawers. So the, the new ones are better. It's my Uncle Austin's old toolbox. Um, what else? Okay, then my hardware. All right, so all my hardware is primarily in these bins and in those bins and everything... Uh, Everything that I need is there. This uh, box is full of parts for the uh, for the mill, so everything is uh, in that for the mill. I'm not gonna open it because I pull it out, but yeah, just the top is full of parts for uh, the milling machine here. And this is actually laminate flooring. So I took some old laminate flooring that was sitting around and uh, just stuck it together. It ain't glued together or nothing. It's it's got these 
notch is built into it so it stays together nice and I just wedged it together and, and set it on here I mean it's pretty cheap the back is even held up by a pallet you can't even see it back there can you know okay there you go there's a pallet back there holding <laughs> there you can see the pallet it's actually holding up the back side of this bench and uh, and these bins three, three, three tall are the exact same height as two of these cabinets and it just happened to be a perfect thing so I made a bench over here um, this was actually the first thing I installed in the garage with just crap I had laying around. This was before I had the uh, the MDF wood here. And uh, yeah, that's primarily that side. There's a mini lathe here that I use. Um, there's a mini mill there that's a more precision. And this guy's a little bit bigger than that one. Um, that's the one I, the very first instrument or piece of equipment I really bought that was fairly expensive. I got all my pieces and hardware and all this stuff organized there. And then this side is the uh, the lathe. So it's a uh, 13, I think it's a 14 inch swing or whatever. It's a nice little lathe. Um, it come from uh, um, this company right there. And it's okay. It's not the best, but it's fairly decent. Um, it works for what I need. It's, it's fine for what I need. Now I got the drill press, I like sitting on a safe because that's all I had. Well, I'm talking too long, my battery died. I guess I'll let that be a lesson. Anyway, I got the, the milling machine here that I had. Uh, it's just a small little guy, but it works really well. Um, uh, welder in here, and then there's another table to um, basically pile crap on. But uh, yeah, it works good for rolling around. Um, and then I still got all those darn uh, cylinders back here that I need to send to a friend. and. Just haven't done it. Um, trust me, it's not because I'm lazy. It's just because those things are so heavy. I don't know how to ship them economically. Um, anyway, so that's yeah, that's pretty well, pretty well it. I found that picture on the side of the road. Chart recorder up there. It's pretty consistent temperature in here. That's cool. What is it right now? 60, 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's that's basically the shop. Um, one thing that you guys probably remember is I had this old uh, had this old thing here, so this actually dims the light under the cabinet, as well as shuts off the overhead lights. So it's just a fun little way of uh, hiding my um, my lighting control in here. But um, this shop, you know what? This shop is freaking awesome, and uh, I'm super blessed to have it for as long as I have. Um, it is attached to the house, so I can come in here and work. Huge, awesome, amazing blessing. And now, I gotta move to a new place. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about it because uh, it's something new, something different. You know, change is good sometimes. Although, this place is not gonna be easy to move. We'll make, we'll make, it, we'll make it happen. So now what I want to do is take you into the other room, um, which is attached to the back of the house here. It's uh, basically where I uh, design, engineer, talk, lock the door and keep children out, 3D printing, coil making, that's all in there. So let me bring you in there and we'll finish our video over there. Thanks for hanging on for so long. You know, I could talk for probably an hour and this video would be an hour long, but hey, this is my YouTube channel, so I'm going to do what I want because I like documenting this stuff. It's fun. All right, let's go to the other room. Oh, so before we go to the other room, I forgot about this room. This room is actually um, outside my house. It's just a little storage area, but I do need to show you because, yeah, there's a few things in here that I'm going to have to move. And I forgot all about them well, for this video, so I wanted to just kind of show the things that are in here. Um, some you um, the kids' stuff in here with the aluminum struts and it's a generator in here and an air compressor and a uh, battery charger and these are full of uh, mostly parts I use for projects. Um, another generator, my filament extruder never got unpacked because I didn't have room for it, so it's in there. Um, yeah, there's a rack I found on the side of the road I didn't want to throw away, and then there's some old stuff I had. So these are just empty boxes and. Some of the glass stuff and things I just I couldn't throw away. There's a couple extra bins in here, my tarps, things like that. So, yeah. Now let's go ahead and move on to the uh, to the 3D printing area.
All right. Again, I got the wide angle lens on, so this room looks pretty big. It's probably, uh, the garage is about three car garage with uh, like a pillar about this big between the two, the big door and the small door. So a single door and then a small door, single double wide door. So this room may be, uh, I don't know, it's probably about 10 foot by 10 foot. It's not real big in here. Uh, but I got my uh, got my 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 office furniture dealio over here, where uh, you know I've got my um, my desk. I should say I actually found this desk on the side of the road. It's a great desk for free. Can't complain whatsoever. Um, got some posters hanging in here, some art, some people. Uh, um, let me think. It is uh, uh, worthless. He made that painting, and. Uh, Posted it on eBay and my sister bought it, <laughs> believe it or not. And he po he made those paintings, okay? And he put them up for donation. That he that all the proceeds went to me as a donation to continue help working on these projects. And um, and my sister bought it and then shipped it to me. So it was pretty hilarious. Uh, but I appreciate that. So yeah, let me show you around. Um, this side of the room is yeah exactly that. I've got uh, I've got a uh, I found that on the side of the road. This big old uh, Dell printer works great. I've got my laptop in here right now. Um, I've got some 3D printing stuff in all these cabinets. Uh, project bench, uh, Newman stuff, and another project. And there's all kinds of things in here. Um, then I got my uh, filament up there. This is actually a bathroom um, that has a closet. And there's some stuff in there, but it's messy. I don't want to go in there right now. Yeah, and then I got my 3D printing over here. Right, so everything is uh, is in here. Again, this is a cabinet I found on the side of the road. 80% of my house is furnished with stuff I found on the side of the road, and I love it. It's great. Uh, here I've actually got uh, my solar panel set up. So I've got the inverter, the batteries, and the solar charge controller um, sitting here, and then there's a solar panel that used to be out in the back, and uh, finally got some grass put in. So. I put it on the roof and it runs down through the cable <laughs> right here and that works really well. That actually keeps my 3D printer, printers running pretty well 24-7 um, under light load so I can run for instance this printer for a long time and the sun um, will recharge the batteries and keep this printer running at night um, just, just barely. Uh, if I run two printers then it will eventually start discharging but I can run these things for about a week to two weeks straight and not have an issue so that's pretty cool the Sun does all my printing coil winding and everything so yeah that that's I mean there's not much else to see here um the small little room um, I still got this thing hanging on here from when I did the Newman project I got to remember to take that down but um yeah you know what life is amazing and uh, I don't regret anything I don't regret anything that I've done um, to this point every choice I made Everything I've done has been great, and now uh, i got to move to a new house. Um, just time is up uh, for that particular uh, house here, so, you know, it's the way it goes. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, but it's going to be very, very tiring. Got uh, some of you don't know, got five kids and a wife, and the rest of the house is full of their stuff. So, this is just my crap. I have an unlimited amount of crap to move, and, uh, and they have their own stuff, so... Yeah, it's going to be fun. But hey, you know what? I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to support um, what I'm trying to do. And uh, as I progress and try to share everything I can with you guys. And it's just been it's just been one of those years where I haven't really been able to do everything how I want to be able to do it. And, uh, and, and, and it's, been, uh, it's been interesting. And now I want to, I want to try to get back into... Uh, trying to be more specific on certain projects and share those things in certain ways, but I'm sure that's going to take a little while. But, uh, mentally, that's where I'd like to head because I enjoy doing that. It's very, uh, it's very uh, mentally healthy for me to continue um, doing that in the manner that I've always done it. I like doing it that way. So that's all I got for you. I love you guys. I will see you guys another day. God bless you. Don't forget to read the Bible more. Faith has gotten me to places in this world which... Uh, I really think that uh, wouldn't gotten me here otherwise. So I really believe in uh, in my Christian background, and uh, yeah, I'd like to share that with you along the way, which I do sometimes. So happy Easter to you! 
which is technically the day I'm posting this video. Should be able to get this edited by then. It's pretty long and lengthy and straightforward. But yeah, we'll see you then. All right, peace. Have a great day, and uh, leave a comment. I'll go down there and poke at the comments in between packing boxes. <sighs>